if you're if you're on the ground in these little communities, you know something's going. You know that you know something is up because there's all these cancer clusters in children. It's this it's really devastating to these communities. At the same time, these communities are very dependent on the economy and the jobs in these plants. So there's all this tension you have. And um, to me, what I wanted was to see the scale, to see the scale of how vast and large these plants were next to this mighty river and these little communities that were former plantations. They were former sugarcane plantations, most of them, slave plantations. And so the descendants of the slaves have settled in these communities around what the plantations sold their land to the petrochemical and chemical companies. And so there you have it. It's this brutal kind of story. And I wanted to see all of those, the scale of the plants and the plantations and the river and these little communities. Um, and that's what you see, you know. It, it's, I think, the aerial, when you're doing film about the environment, to be able to see the landscape from a bird's eye view, it tells the whole story in a sense, you know. Um, you can see it. You can see how vast these things are. You see these huge bubbling vats of who knows what. And you see these little tiny houses right along the border. You know, it's, it's gut-wrenching. And you can see the old plantation homes, and you can see the river, and you can see the sugar cane fields. So, you know, that geography is, is, in a sense, the whole story. I learned a lot about sort of the environmental justice movement nationally. And um, of course, a lot of the toxic waste dumps and Superfund sites and petrochemical plants and are placed in poor communities. And um, depending on what part of the country you are, it could be environmental racism or it could be environmental justice. You know, the, the dis in, I think down in Louisiana, it's both. Um, there's deep racial divides and history there. But, you know, in somewhere else, it's just going to be the people who are poor. You know, it's going to be the place where the land values are low and there's not a lot of um, political power. And so that's where they'll go put all the toxic stuff. Sure, I mean, it's happening here in Austin. You know, you could talk to Susanna Alamanza and she'll tell you the whole history. So, yeah, it's everywhere. It's, a, it's kind of the conscience of our economy. You live in this very, you know, comfortable economy with all this materialism but it, it comes from a place that's it's very polluting and then and the consequences of our consumption of materialism are borne out in, in the communities and the people who you know don't have as much money or resources.